Everybody else got one. Mark McGuire also decided to come by and accept this award and another special award from our ESPN people. Leslie? You know, it's been such a magical season for baseball, and this is probably the reason why. Congratulations, Mark, on being the showstopper of the year. Are you still pinching yourself? Yeah, I, I think I will be for the rest of my life. I mean, uh, what happened uh, this year for baseball is outstanding. What I did personally is just... Uh, beyond anything I've ever dreamed about. I think any baseball player ever dreamed about. So uh, I'm just happy to say that I put a lot of smiles on a lot of kids and adults' faces this year. Well, many people know that it is usually the best cardinal who becomes pope. Well, you didn't <laughs> do that, but you did get to meet the pope. Yeah, what was I, I, it's, it's, it's been a, a great year. I've got to meet a lot of great people. I mean, to meet the pope, how many people can get to say that, to, to, to kiss his hand? and. Um, a lot of people asked me what he told me, and I said, I'm going to keep it a secret. I'll let you know later. Yeah, a great memory. Well, now I'd like to welcome the chairman and CEO of ESPN, Steve Bornstein, who has a special gift for you. Mark, I want to thank you on behalf of all the women and men of ESPN. Thank you. I know you've gotten a lot of great gifts. We have something very special for you that I'd like to show you. Okay. We have a poster here signed by all the all the pictures that gave up your 70 <laughs> in 1998. So thank you very much. Oh. Well, you know, it's hitting home runs is, you know, it, 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 it's sort of an art, I think. And then, uh, but it takes two to tango, and it takes a pitcher and a, and a good pitch to hit. And, and uh, I know if I was a pitcher and a player like myself going for something like that, uh, I know it wasn't easy to do, but they were pretty aggressive to me. So, uh, well, congratulations. Thank you for getting it. Congratulations, too, and thank you, Steve. Back to you guys. Thank you. Mark McGuire up for several awards. You know, he was our lead story every night during the summer. He even said one night he did not hit a home run. Sosa hit one, Griffey Jr. hit one, and he was still the lead story on SportsCenter. Not many people have the luxury, I guess. Maybe Mark thinks otherwise he'd rather not. <laughs> but we are going to be right back. The SBs are this close to actually happening. The one constant through the years has been baseball. America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It has been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. Today, I consider myself... But baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, is part of our past. It reminds us all that of what was once good. And it can be again. The people will come. People will most definitely come. Ladies and gentlemen, the two men who more than anyone else made America's pastime once again a field of dreams. I'm honored to introduce Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. Roger Clemens, Sammy Sosa, and Mark McGuire. And the SB goes to Mark McGuire. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Sort of like accepting the Academy Award last year, huh? Um, 
First of all, I'd like to say hello to my son, Matthew, I love you. Um, it's truly been a magical year for myself, for baseball in general, from the Yankees, world champion of the best team in baseball ever. David Wells is a perfect game. Can't get any better than that. Cal Ripken for a streak, stopping a streak, but if I was him, I would have taken a week off. He deserved it. And into the home run race between Sammy and I. Um, I truly have to thank all you fans out there. The support you gave myself and Sammy through the, rest, the end of the year. Truly heartfelt. Thank you very much. And I'm glad baseball's back on top and back. Thank you. When we return, the prestigious author athlete. Here to present our final nominee for Male Athlete of the Year, please welcome ESPN's and ABC's Chris Berman. Aloha. Not bad seven years, huh? Or do people miss that Caligula set? I do. Um, this is kind of a Y2K Empire State Building Erector set kind of new thing here. I don't know. At any rate, imagine for just a moment that we are back at last year's ESPYs. We tell you that there is a man who's hit 50 homers the last two years, which makes him Ruthian, of course, but it also makes him feel the public's great expectations every swing at batting practice and every movement at first base. Amid such daily pressure, he gets to 50 in August with drives that would uh, clear Yellowstone Park. He gets to 61 on Labor Day, 62 the next night on a heat-seeking, low-flying howitzer. Pressed by his newfound friend and soulmate Sammy Sosa all the way to 66, he responds on the final weekend with a barrage to bring his total to a preposterous 7. And he shared all of this with his son, his family, his newfound extended family, the Marises, for that matter. He shared it with all of us, with love and with respect. It's too good to be true. You're right. It was. That's why our final nominee for Male Athlete of the Year is Mark McGuire. Every eye is on, is on me. I have a shot. I'm like in awe of myself right now. Left field. See you later. Can you count to 70? Coming up next, the SC for dramatic individual performance, and Jimmy Smith presents the humanitarian award to.